come, live in the light, shine with the joy and the love of the Lord. We are called to be light for the kingdom, to live in the freedom of the city of God. We are called to act with justice. We are called to love tenderly. We are called to serve one another, to walk humbly with God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he builds. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he sets up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Aden shall be destroyed. The sin of Israel, thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. They shall cry out from to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills fall upon us. So for yourself, justice, reap the fruit of piety, break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgment he has uttered. Seek always the face of the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servant, son of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Praise his name, praise his name. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the, the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the gospel names the 12 apostles. It is here that we find out who that band of apostles are who follow Jesus. Many times, though, we confuse the two terms. We use them interchangeably, that of a disciple and that of the apostles. So many times we will hear the twelve disciples or the twelve apostles. There is a distinction, though, between a disciple and an apostle. A disciple is a lifelong learner. That is someone who is with the Master and who continues to learn about the faith, who continues to learn from Jesus. An apostle, while being a disciple, has a different function. The apostles are sent out into the world. They are sent then to be the new teachers. They are sent to proclaim the message that Jesus had. And if you listen very carefully to the gospel, we could hear exactly what they do. Jesus sent them out, and he gave them the instruction, make a proclamation, the kingdom of God is at hand. We are a part of an apostolic church. In the creed, we say, one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic. Apostolic, again, having a twofold meaning. The meaning of being the church being founded upon the apostles, these twelve, and then having the mission to go out into the world to preach. That mission is not only given to the church, but it's given to each and every one of us. That you too are called to be those apostles of today. Many times we say people have an apostolate, a lay apostolate, which means to make known the kingdom of God. Now, you don't have to go from door to door. You can do that just by sitting in your homes with your family or friends and just give witness to Jesus Christ. And just let the world know that you are a believer. Our world needs Jesus. Our world needs a Savior. Jesus needs us to proclaim the kingdom of God is at hand. Let us place our petitions before God. We pray today for the church throughout the world that she may proclaim the gospel with courage, with strength, with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for our world that is torn by violence and hatred. We ask that the power of the Holy Spirit gather us in peace and in unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for our own nation, that we may be a people who are dedicated to human life. From the moment of conception until natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray today for those who need to make decisions in their lives, for those who are conflicted with various paths of life, that the Holy Spirit will lead and guide them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our own parish community, the parish of St. Michael, that we may be those apostles 
to tell the world of the love of Jesus and that the kingdom of God is at hand. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering in any way, for those who are lonely, those who are oppressed, those who are fearful and anxious, may they know Jesus' healing touch. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all those who have died. May they be welcomed into the glory of the heavenly kingdom. We pray for those who continue to mourn for them. May they have that hope of new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all your needs and intentions that we bring to the altar today in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by word you created the world, and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as our mediator. He has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son, you gather men and women whom you've made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of the cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the angels we proclaim your glory, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures, and he breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you left through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in a bond of communion, together with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place to live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Michael, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the wave of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the one who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come, open your heart. Show your mercy to all those in fear. We are called to be hope for the hopeless, so all hatred and blindness will be no more. We are called to act with justice. We are called to love tenderly. We are called to serve one 